Hey everyone, welcome to this new video and it's finally here. We got Photoshop 2024. Super excited about this because we can finally get rid of Photoshop beta. At least I don't want to use it anymore. I hate it. I like it when it's in the real Photoshop. So I'm going to show you exactly what is new in this Photoshop. And if you didn't know yet, I have Photoshop courses in case you want to learn more about Photoshop. These courses are really good for photographers or digital artists. So make sure to check them out and let's get into this video. All right, as I mentioned, Photoshop got faster. When I start up Photoshop, it's really fast now. I think they made it a lot better for the speed now. And the first thing, obviously, what I want to show is the generated fill. This was only available in the beta version and now it's in the real Photoshop. So let me show you the generated fill. So let's look at this photo. For instance, you shot this photo and you want to post this on Instagram, but you know, Instagram isn't really good to post horizontal photos. So you don't know what to do. Now you can easily take the crop tool here and you can see here, I have the ratio four by five. This is the Instagram ratio. I want to make sure I have this in the center maybe a bit bigger like that and let's make sure the wolf is here right in the center now you can see we have these white spaces here and now we can easily fill those spaces with generative expand so if you click on generative expand here and just simply click on this icon it's gonna create these areas and you can see how easy it is to now just create some areas around your photo that didn't exist in the real photo and now you can just let Photoshop create those areas now, you need to remember that these pixels that are created by Photoshop are not high resolution yet. So I hope they will update that later on. But for now, it's like 1024 by 1024 pixels for the resolution. So if you got a really big photo, it's not going to work if you use it for printer, for instance. But for digital, it's fine. You can see here, if I zoom out, you won't see that. But if you zoom in here, you can see the difference. Like there is the photo and this one is a bit blurred out. But for now, it works for online photos. For print, I wouldn't use it if you really want to have the best quality, right? So this is the first feature. Now let's look at the next feature. The next feature is pretty much also from the generated fill. Now, for instance, if I want to remove some stuff in my photo, I can just simply make a selection of this. Like for instance, I want to remove this part and I'm clicking on generated fill and I keep this empty. I don't write anything down. I click on generate and it's going to remove that part. So this is really easy to quickly remove some stuff from your photo if you want to clean it up. And this is pretty much it for the generate the fill. We can also use text. So for instance, if I want to add something here, maybe I want to add some flowers or something, I'll select this area and click on generate the fill and write down flowers. So you don't have to write add or add something here, like stuff like that. Just write down what you want and it's automatically going to add those stuff in your photo. So you can be really creative with this. It's a lot of fun to create stuff with generated fill. And let's see here. Here we have the properties and you can see these thumbnails got a bit bigger now. You can here switch those and you can see here I can select different types and you can see how pretty good the photo is with this area here you can see the colors are matching and it looks pretty real this has a blurred out foreground so it made sure the flowers in the foreground are also blurred out although they don't really look like flowers but you get the point you can really play around with this in photoshop there is another new tool and that is the remove tool you can now simply just make a circle around the object that you want to remove and it's going to remove that now the update that is into the new photoshop is that generate the fill is now commercially licensed that means that if you create stuff with the ai generate the fill you can use those for commercial purposes so that means that if you for instance create something with generate the fill you can sell those artworks as prints now this wasn't available in the beta version because i think they were still testing out all that stuff and now it got better and it's available as commercial license right so try to create some cool stuff and maybe you can sell those works as prints if you like them so that's pretty much it don't forget to check out my courses i will leave a discount in the description of the video and until then catch you on the next one